Hey, welcome to Cosmo and the Movie Within. I'm your host, Cosmo Lanier. Please like, share, and comment. Don't forget about subscribing to my YouTube channel. Today, we are doing dun 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 The Army of the Dead. of the dead as you know is or you might not know is a netflix release uh came out in theaters as well but it was mainly pushed as a netflix release it's starring dave batista which you also might know from him his wrestling career but now he's a big boy serious actor and you might know him from being drax in gardens of the galaxy so dave batista he's starring in Zack snyder which Zack Snyder's movies, if you might know. He just uh, did the Snyder Cut for the Justice League. He did 300, which one of my one of my top favorite movies. I love that. This is Sparta! Boom! I love that movie. But if you mess with Zack Snyder, you got him. <laughs> if you mess with Zack Snyder, then you know you're in for a good, good treat. Most of his movies, he has some here and there that I'm not feeling, but for the most part, Zack Snyder's attached to it. When he stays in his realm and stays in the realm that he likes to mess with, his go-to. And he's like a little duo because uh, most people don't know this, but Zack Snyder directs it. He does a lot of the cinema photography, but his wife is also a producer and does all the other stuff. So pretty much the combination of them two are doing all the stuff in the movies. So when you're seeing the cinematography or the producers and the directors and the executive producers, all that's pretty much the two of them. So they cover a lot of ground and keep them checks in the family. I ain't mad at that. Um, but yeah, so this is a pretty much your army, not army, your zombie flick and your zombie type movie. Um, give you a quick synopsis of it. Um, we're in these times, 2021 or present day. Um, the army is taking a package through Las Vegas or the outskirts of Las Vegas. You don't really know what's going on, but the, something again to this accident, crazy beginning scene, again to this crazy accident. Of course, what was in the package got out. Spoiler, it was a zombie. And zombie was a little bit different. These zombies, you know, had, um, um, all the time I can't even get it right uh, they had the little stickers on their chest and little IVs so you can clearly tell that they were some stuff was done to these zombies so whether they were created zombies or enhanced humans super soldiers if you want to say and but pretty much these are not your normal over-the-mill zombies your normal you know walking dead I bite you and uh, uh, uh. no 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 these are the zombies that are gonna whoop your mm -hmm -hmm. and they are super smart they talking zombie talk but they're I would say semi-intelligent because they're not having full-blown conversations like how I am but they communicate in their way and they're nice with the hands and I'm talking about Mayweather in his prime Ali in his prime dipping and weaving dodging oh you think you're nice not today so these type of zombies some things you don't you ever always you ever think about when you watch a zombie movie like man we would be screwed if these zombies could like actually run fast or be screwed if these zombies actually had some common sense well mm, similar to uh world war z world war z those zombies were fast whenever i watch that movie i'm like yeah i'm a goner because them zombies were moving like you saying boat <laughs> boom type moving these zombies on top of that, only thing with World War Z zombies, they were a little stupid. So they were smart. I mean, they were fast, but eh, they weren't. They were okay with the brain, but for most part, they were zombies. They were just fast. No, but these zombies, semi intelligent. They know what they're doing. They have a plan, and they mean business. So, anywho, Las Vegas was the nearest city after this accident happened. So, of course, they took the they took the city over. Um, so. But not all the zombies are super genetic. Like the ones that they want to when they bite them, they become just like, you know, the super fast and 
um, elite zombies, but then you also have your normal, regular zombies, but all of them can run fast. And all of them have, even the regular zombies have some similar of communication, some um, semblance of um, intelligence. So it's a bad look regardless. So anywho, Las Vegas gets taken. They able to shut Las Vegas down. They show a whole montage of all these different people. Um, Dave Batista's character, who is Scott, um, show him getting out, getting people out. So this show the whole beginning of how this happened. They end up putting um, Las Vegas on lockdown and pretty much quarantining outside of the city and pretty much the whole outskirts of Las Vegas was quarantined and people that were not infected and pretty much the whole main city of Las Vegas was all zombie land, zombie town. They run the show over there. Um, of course, Dave now, Scott, who is now in present day after this whole initial um, raid of, of the zombies going out and, you know, killing everybody and biting everybody. Uh, now Dave is just doing, he's like a diner chef, you know, they're showing everybody what they're doing now. And, you know, they were doing the type of heroic and crazy things when it first happened. But now they're all just doing regular, regular, regular jobs now. So uh, Scott, he gets approached by, I forgot his uh, name in real life. I don't want to jack it up, but pretty much Scorpion. He, he played Scorpion in Mortal Kombat. So my man, he came over there. Get over here. He didn't do that though. But he did say, can you come here and let me talk to you? So he talks to him and has a conversation with them and pretty much tells them, hey, I got a job for you. Um, if you rob this casino, you know, you're looking at like 120 million, 150 million dollars. Like, are you game? Oh, uh, come again? A hundred and what? And of course he plays into his ego. You know, you look at you, you were the man when this first happened. Like you have all these elite tools and these are these unique skill sets and you're over there doing you know being a diner chef obviously scott wants to be a chef in real life and but you know he doesn't have the funds for it so clearly with this money he can fund his new endeavors of being which is i think a, um a food truck <laughs> he wants to run his own food truck so he's enticed he just pretty much says of course you gotta go into the hot zone where all the zombies are at so he tells them, you know, get your team, get your team together, uh, get somebody to unlock it. Pretty much, you do everything. I'm just going to give you a little assistance and tell you where it's at. But pretty much, he wasn't bringing that much to the table. Um, but um, he took the offer. He gets his team assembled. One of the people on his team was Amari Hardwick, um, which you might know from him playing Ghost on uh, Power. You know, Tasha! Tosh, I don't care about you. I love Ange. Ange was my heart. No? Okay, whatever. Hey, I do the movie reviews. I'm not an actor. I can write. I can do some movie reviews. I can write books. Acting. Eh, whatever. But he gets his team assembled. He gets Omari Harwick. Um, he plays this badass. And, you know, he has this big chainsaw type looking thing. Um, he gets... Um, a helicopter, um, a helicopter pilot, a uh, little non-fun fact, the original helicopter pilot, um, I gotta remember his name, Chris Diella, Dielia, something like that. Uh, you might know him from playing uh, the character on You. Uh, he used to do the impersonations of Eminem. Um, the white guy did impressions of Eminem and he used to rap all fast, but you know, saying dumb stuff with a comedian. And the You character, Bring back to the U character, it's funny because in the U character, he played a comedian who was a nasty man and was into little girls and all that type of stuff. And he thought it was a character in real life. He was a comedian and into that and little girls and doing inappropriate stuff. So they ended up firing him. They replaced him with uh, Tig Notario. She did great. So now she was a helicopter pilot and pretty much Scott gets all these other characters with all different skill sets. So he has his team formulated, he's ready to go. Um, he's going to, a little twist in it though, outside on the outskirts of this is these quarantine zones. And these quarantine zones, um, his estranged daughter is there. Pretty much he saw him kill uh, her mother, his wife at the time. 
So after that, obviously, things can get a little weird. We're not coming to the family dinners anymore. Let's pass on the Thanksgiving. I don't want to see your face anymore. So they are strange, but she's in this camp. And in this camp, some nasty stuff is going down. Um, the security guards are raping, raping the women and doing some foul stuff. One of the security guards is old oh boy from Sans Arnarchy, Juice. Whenever you see Juice, just put your little, put your goggles on. Like, eh, he's probably going to be a shady character. Because it's Sans Anarchy. If you haven't seen Sans Anarchy, he was shady. He was good in the beginning, but then he was a little shady. He was a snitch. Anywho. So he's doing some foul stuff. So now Dave Batista, Scott, um, he has his team assembled. He knows what's going on. Um, Scorpion, get over here. Um, he pretty much tells him, gives him a, a, another member that he's gonna take him. Some guy, you know, obviously is like, why are you bringing this guy with us? I don't know him. So clearly something's a little fishy, something a little off with that. But anywho, he has his whole team together. He knows where he's going, uh, but now, right before all this happened, his daughter, which this doesn't make any sense in the movie, the daughter gets, um, I guess you get attached to people in the camp, but the girl, they, they, there's a girl who pretty much sends people, they sneak into the quarantine zone and to the hot zone and pretty much steal money, get money because, you know, a lot of these people are poor and they take that risk of getting caught by zombies because, you know, in this case, the zombies are not just eating you. They're catching you and trying to turn you. They're, you know, they're organized. So, but they take this risk, which they don't really know this at the time, only the girl that takes them in there. Anywho, uh, they take this risk to get the money so, you know, they can have their self a better life. So, anywho, this girl has two kids. She ends up going, never coming back. So, for some reason, um, Scott's daughter filled that she needed to go and save her and she needed to go find her because that's the right thing to do. Uh, the movie never really explains why they're so attached. I'm assuming because all the foul things that were going on, they did, they got, you know, a bond, some chrom, chrom I can't even say the word, but they got a bond. Um, that's the only thing I could think of, but that part really didn't make that much sense. So she ends up tagging along, which of course he doesn't want her to go, but they end up making a deal. She tags along. So he has his whole group of people. And pretty much after that, it's go time. We got to go. We got to get this money. We have on the time when we get this money, we're going to go to the roof. There's an old helicopter on there. We're all carrying fuel packs. We're going to fuel up the helicopter. We're going to take the money and we're going to go. Shoo! Easy preasy. Easy peasy. Wrong. Of course, all these crazy things happen. Of course, now these things, uh, these zombies are organized and they're seeing the magnitude of what's, what's, um, what their game plan is to the extent, because they never even fully go into what their game plan is. As the, um, as the viewer, we kind of see what's going on, but in the actual thick of things, you don't really see what's going on. But it's a great movie. I wouldn't say great, but it's a great zombie movie. If you're looking for something that is in depth and all this, you're going to the wrong thing. If you're watching a zombie movie, what are you expecting? You're expecting some gore, you're expecting headshots, you're expecting some something cool. Obviously, I love that the angle that it goes from is that not only the backdrop is zombies, it's not just your normal everyday outbreak, oh, there's zombies, oh, it's chaos, oh, no. It's zombies is the backdrop. And on top of that, the zombies are freaking crazy strong. They are super soldiers <laughs> for Marvel. These things got a little Captain America juice in them all and they're ready for some business. And on top of that, they're trying and then the movie is doing something crazy like a money heist with all these other aspects. The daughter, she's the strange daughter and they have a little friction, but she's trying to go find somebody. Uh, then you got the guy that um, Scorpion, he sent over. And you know what's going on with him. Then you got the the team trying to screw one another. Then you got though this the zombies in general. Then you got the zombies trying to work out their own plan. It's crazy. I love it. Um, action. Um, lots of 
shoot them. I felt like I was playing uh, Call of Duty Zombies with my daughter, literally. Some of those scenes, when they're just going, especially Davis is going, he has the big boy gun, and he's do 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 and the zombies is boom, 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 headshot, 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 headshot. And I'm like, woo, you got a high score at the end of this game. Somebody's getting in first place. So I love that. I, I truly felt like I was in like a, a recap of one of our games that me and my daughter play. One of the games that me and my nephew, my daughter, and my whole my boys, we all play when we're playing together on Call of Duty Zombies. That it was that type of feel. Um, lots of headshots, a lot of fighting. And then even the fighting scenes, it was like, okay, we're not going to just, you know, uh, Walking Dead and it's like the walkers are coming. You just have a knife, hit them in the head, and they're done. No, 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 no. I'm going to swing at you. Try to hit you in your head? No, I'm ducking. Oh, that's okay. Like, I'm fighting now. Like, I'm really... F oh, crap. I'm in a full-blown fight with a zombie. And this zombie's giving me the business. Like, and I'm trying not to get bit. So, you have all of those elements. You have the, the, the backdrop. You have the plot, the underlying plot, and all the little secret little plots. I love it. I love all the different elements. I love, of course, these type of movies. It started out with a group of people, obviously as a big team, and you know, this is a zombie movie. You gotta die. So, I love the different scenes where the different, how they get picked off. Um, I was thoroughly entertained. I, I enjoyed it. Um, it was entertaining, it was fun. Action scenes, everything was good. Then you get to the very end. Of course, I'm not gonna spoil it for you, but the very end, there were some things that happened and I was just like, really though? That's what we doing? And then further than the ending, it's like, oh, ha, ha, yes, get him. And then a little bit more in the ending, it goes into literally. <laughs> it, literally, the last sentence of the last character, I won't even say the last character, but the last sentence and the last scene that person, whoever they meet, may be, they say something and it's perfect. And I mean, perfect sentence for that scene. Cause in the end, this is like, bruh. Which of course now we know, obviously, hopefully this does good. I think it will do good cause it is entertaining. There will be a second one, a third one. We'll see, you know, zombie flicks, you can always do a second and a third if they're good, if they're worth it. This one, Zack Snyder's in it, call me in. Knock, knock, who's there? It's Cosmo. Can I come? Cause I wanna see it. All right, so at the end of the last video, I said, or one of them videos, I said that I'm gonna do a Cosmoism, something that gives it my rating system. So I have three ideas. Um, I want you guys, I'm either gonna do a poll or just comment, comment in the video. Um, and just let me know which one you guys like. So, you know, if you guys don't know, I'm Jamaican. So, give a little bit of my Jamaican heritage or my Jamaican vibes. I'm either gonna do five more fires. So, may I say a more fire? May I say a more fire? More fire? More fire? More fire? So, if it's a really good movie, may I say a five more fires. You know, four, three, two, one them. Or we can do. Um, five locks. You gotta say five locks. Yeah, four locks. Yeah, three locks. Yeah, three locks. Yeah, two locks. Yeah, one lock. You know, five locks. Clearly, my locks. Uh, five locks is a great movie. Or me, I do boops. That's something we like to do. Yeah, say boop, 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 boop. Five boops. That's a real good movie. But let me know what you like. Let me know if you like the more fires, more fire, or if you like the boops, or if you like the five locks. Let me know what y'all see. Let me know what you like. Comment below and let me know. But thank you so much for watching my channel. Once again, please like, share, and subscribe. Next up, A Quiet Place 2. Goodbye.